I'm Edie Lush, and I'm very pleased to be joined in the Hub Culture Pavilion by Patricia Menendez Cambo, head of the international practice at Greenberg Traurig. Thanks very much for coming. Thanks, Edie, for having me. Tell me a little bit about what your practice, what your firm is doing with corruption at the moment. Well, um, we're working with the forum in um, partnering up on a number of initiatives to um, help in using our network to eliminate corruption. And so we're looking at a number of anti-corruption initiatives that we can help. Being one of the uh, largest global law firms, um, we are able to pull up resources from a different, different areas and help the forum achieve its mission. And it's a mission that we share with the forum. And what are the kind of issues? How have you seen corruption uh, change over the last couple of years? Has it become more difficult to root out? Are, di are different countries embracing um, corrupt anti-corruption initiatives? Well, there have been anti-corruption initiatives in a number of jurisdictions on a global basis. You know, I think what's interesting is, is that governments have started to realize that it is definitely a setback for social and economic development in the country. And I just, and, or maybe that the enforcement of these um, um, initiatives has become um, quite on the forefront of the agendas of numbers of governments as they deal with the economic crises or, um, or problems they're facing in their jurisdictions. Tell me also, I know that you're working on gender equality. What's, what, what kind of work are you doing there? Um, I've been working with the gender pair. I've been honored to be part of the gender parity group for a number of years now on um, doing some research and identifying, you know, tying the issues of you know, gender parity and gender equality to social and economic development on a country by country basis. Um, the forum puts out a report every year that monitors um, gender parity initiatives on a country basis and measures it against its economic growth and the statistics are such that the greater the financial and economic development of a country, the greater gender um, equality. And again, it's another argument in um, you know, bringing these issues to the forefront and helping developed countries, um, developing countries, exceed, you know, increase um, their goal to close the gender gap, um, the gender and income equality gap. Is there a specific country or group of countries that you would point to as as doing really well in this regard? Um, well, there are a number of countries in, the, in uh, Northern Europe that are doing quite well. Mm -hmm. um, Philippines is one of the top countries in, in Asia that's doing well in that area. Um, and there, there are a number of countries that are looking at this and making strides. Thank you so much for stopping by the Hub Culture Pavilion here in Davos, and I'm Edie Lush. Wow.